Yeah, I'll take a closing rook at the draw, and it would likely draw the eye first. A crude drawing of what looks like a Brahmin with a big X through it, and the word Tor scrolled underneath. So he's losing Brahmin. Yeah, I think I'll take another look at the notices. This one looks good, something about booze. Booze, got your tendon, didn't die. Bum leg, prevents business, need help refueling still, speedy and reliable type needed. See Whiskey Bob over at Ma Buckner's place. Okay, something here about the bath, so bathhouse ad likely. Feeling grubby, nothing makes a feller feel better and a nice bath. Three fun filled types to choose from featuring the beautiful and talented Jenny. Late of the den, see Big Nosed Cell at the bathhouse for more exciting details. So I guess that's a bathhouse with something extra. Uh, someone wants to buy some lizard hides. Top dollar for top belt pelts. You have gecko pelts? I have money. Get golden gecko pelts especially welcome. See me first. Shajak. Owner operator Golden Gecko Tavern. Okay, something about rats. Too many damn rats in Trapper Town. Come and get them. All you can eat. Steam. <laughs> okay. Something about old stuff here. Genuine antiques. They don't make it like they used to. In fact, they mostly don't make it at all. If you want the good old stuff, see Victor Trader, east side of downtown. Okay, I think that's all we needed. So, things to do, quests, job offerings. I'm... Although I'm pr pretty interested in finding big, I am interested in what's going on, if I can give a helping hand to people. I have been, I think, what, uh, 35, lived in the village all my life. I'm not married or anything, so I'm guessing I'm taking this as a kind of an opportunity to see the world, and new people, enjoy it, enjoy it a bit. Yeah, I'm not going to try to block pick it. Who are you? Hello there, my name's Arding Arding Buckner and this is my place. Say, you didn't see a trapper named Smiley outside of town, did you? Out to herself. He's been gone for too long. Never should have let him go off on that fool quest of his. Tell me about him. Well, Smiley and me... Me were getting downright serious with each other. I thought I had finally got him him to agree to settle down here and help me run this place, but he said he needed to go off on one last quest. Quest? Well, he called it a quest. He told me he thought he knew where all the golden geckos come from, and he wanted to find out for sure. He thought that maybe it was some kind of magical spring, or maybe a hidden cave or vault of some sort. Hmm. Excuse me. <clears throat> well, I don't rightly know what all he said, but he seemed real excited about it, up about going. But I shouldn't have let him go. He's two weeks later getting back than he said he'd be, and I'm worried. I, yeah, I, I sympathize. I'd like to help. I could look for him for you. Oh, thank you. Let me mark on your map where he talked about looking. I sure hope you can find him. He isn't much, but I still love him and I miss him more than I thought I could. Please find him for me. That's a, a man's life it is at stake, so I'll be glad to help. I'll do what I can. Let me ask you something first. Yeah, I was wondering if you're the person to talk to about local news or events. You should have talked to my daughter, Maida, about that. I don't really keep track of what's going on lately. Too much... Too much just keeping an eye on my own business. 
Okay. Can I buy something? I just handle the rooms here. If you want to buy or trade something, talk to my daughter, Maida. Yeah. I Miss Buckner's Mrs. Buckner seems to be only a good source of, of a quest. So I guess yeah, she's the daughter. My name's Maida Buckner. I take this I take care of trading and drinks here. I don't tolerate any tribals messing our family's place up. So you just better watch your step here, or you'll end up like Sully. What do you want? Okay, can we barter? You want to barter? I'm always looking for good quality gecko pelts, and I pay a fair price for them too. Yes, I'd like to trade. Anything of interest here? New chance in hell to get that. These aren't worth that much. Why do I have fruit? Hmm. There's really nothing much of interest here. I do want the money though. 170. Yeah, that's good enough. Mm, buy, drink, no. So much today. I have some questions. I'm not going to ask her about the gig either. Um, I think I have enough common sense to assume that it's not something everyone knows about. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, what other towns are nearby? That's that's important information. I don't want to aimlessly wander in that wasteland. I know it's a dangerous place. There are only a couple of other towns nearby. There's Reading, far to the southwest. Southwest and the den a few days south, but I wouldn't go to the den. Why wouldn't you go to the den? What about tribes in the area? Well, I didn't count tribes when you asked about civilized towns, but I guess there's a group of savages somewhere to the northwest, and then there's and then Sulik's tribe far to the southwest. Yeah, I don't want to get into an argument with her and her pre prejudices. What about the den? The den is a bad place to go. They even enslave ignorant tribals like yourself. It's a week or so south of here, but most folks that have gone there don't come back. Okay, isn't the Sulik your slave? No, I don't want to say that. I do want to ask about Sulik though. But first, what's going on here in Klamath? Well, you'd be better off asking Mama up yeah. They both refer me to the other. Okay. Let's talk about Sulik. Sulik's a tribal that's working here to pay off a debt he foolishly incurred. He's not a slave. We don't have slaves here in Klamath. Paying off a debt, what do you mean? Well, you see, Slick got real upset one night and had too much booze. Then when he was good and drunk, he busted up the place. He did nearly $500 worth of damage just now getting the place repaired. Why did he get so upset? He said he found out that his sister had been kidnapped by slavers. But you'd have to ask him more about that. He's here until he can pay off the rest of the damage he did while he was drunk. How much, how much does he have to work off? He still has to pay off 350. If he weren't so lazy and shiftless, it would be quicker for him. He's not leaving here until his debt is paid in full. It's a lot of money. I think he's going to be here for a long time. Well, he may be slow, but he does sort of grow on you after a while. Looks away wistfully, flustered. 
Now that's enough jaw flapping. Do you need something else? Yeah, I don't really. I guess I could pay for his damages and get a companion. But I don't, don't really want to. Mm, I think I'll go look for the Mrs. Buckner's man because his life is at stake. I don't I don't know anything else that is so important right now. So toxic caves. Okay. Some silver geckos hiding among spore plants. Yeah we need to run. Let's go and let's go again. And again. Okay, I don't. I'm not sure if we are ready for this. There seems to be a lot of geckos and golden geckos, so I think we'll actually retreat and explore the town of Klamath a bit more. Maybe do some little quests there to get our levels level up. I mean, there were other parts of the town that we didn't even explore. And we could talk to Whiskey Bob. I think this is him. Howdy, stranger. My name is Whiskey Bob. What's yours? My name is Ophelia. Nice to meet you, Whiskey Bob. Always nice to find another drinking buddy. Wanna buy me a drink? Talking always makes me thirsty. Oh, but sure, Bob, don't mind a bit. Thanks for the drink, partner. Now that we my whistle's wet, I feel that I can share a little problem I have. Hey, maybe you can help me out. Yeah, you adver advertised it, so why do why can't I get straight to business? Okay, how can I help you out? Well, you see, I have a little side business that I need some help attending to. I have a moonshine still outside of town that needs to be fueled up every so often. Since a gecko done beat my leg, I can't hobble out to it before it runs out of fuel. If I tell you where it is, would you refuel it for me? It's worth fifty dollars to me. It's probably quite easy to ask. Yeah, tell me more. What you have to do is find a little shack just south of town, go inside and dump some firewood into the steel. Then come back here and I'll give you your money, but it needs to be done within the next day or my batch of wood will go bad. Okay, that sounds pretty easy, I'll do it. You'll do it? Great. Remember, you got to do it soon or my hoot will go bad. Thanks a heap. See you back here soon, no problem, Bob. Yeah, we better go now. We need to start doing something, and I think the toxic caves are beat over our head at the moment. So, where's the. Oh, I think there. We simply don't have any equipment, not even uh, brass knuckles. So. We're going to wait a bit. Just so we maybe can get the leather jacket and find a brass knuckle somewhere or buy it. So we're not totally unarmed. I'm not really worried about these geckos, but the golden ones I'm a bit worried about. Especially if I don't get an armor. Yeah, he lost his next turn, that means he's dead. You're dead. 